hi friends welcome back to my channel on statistics if you are seeing my videos first time then do subscribe let's go to the topic in the before video i explain about unbiasedness in details with here raw lawyer bond account all things also uniformly minimum variance and locally minimum variance all things now we are, this is the second property of second property of best estimation that is consistency what do you mean by consistency and with more examples also i will discuss in this video first we can see what is the general meaning of consistency means convergence in probability convergence in probability convergence in probability what is convergence in probability means just like chebchu's inequality just like probability of for example i am taking x bar is an unknown estimator then for populist x bar minus mu Eta equal to the sigma. This is what we say. This is equal to the one upon k square. This is a chebyshev number. Like this, consistency is measured also there. Now we can see what is the formal definition and examples. All things also see. I take these all examples from FMS book, Fundamentals of Mathematical Statistics book. You can refer that book also, or Rothke book also. You can refer or Nietzsche's Mukhopadhyaya or Cassie Laberger also. Now we can see what is the formal definition of consistency. An estimator T n, T of this is a function of values, sample values based on a random sample of S i n is said to be a consistent estimator for the gamma of theta. For theta belongs to capital theta, the parametric space. This is the total parametric space. Then T n converges to gamma of t in probability. This is important. Converges in probability. T n tends to gamma of t in convergence in probability as n tends to infinity. Okay. This is the formal definition of consistency. In other words, T n is consistent estimator for gamma of t if for every epsilon greater than zero. Now, greater than zero, there exists a positive integer n greater than equal to m epsilon gamma n such that this is the definition. This is different from real analysis definition. See, probability of T n minus gamma of t less than mod modulus is there less than epsilon tends to one. Otherwise, this also. Here, for example, I am taking an x bar. For x bar, unbiased estimator is mu less than epsilon tends to one as n tends to infinity. This is the formal def and uh, statistical terminology or mathematical equation of consistency. This is also another type of equa equations. When we have greater than equal to one minus mu, then we can for all n greater than equal to then we can say the consistency. Now we can see. What are the theorems in there? What are the some main results are there? How we can say the consistency means there are some two results, important results are there in consistency. After that, we can see more examples also. See, this is the first result for consistency. If T n is a consistent estimate for gamma of t and omega gamma of t is a continuous function, then gamma of t then this this is important. Gamma of T n is a consistent estimate for gamma. If we have you have any polynomial equation, polynomial equation, it is continuous. Then we can say that consistent estimator. You can, I will tell you with examples also. Uh, next slide with for uh, this result. This result is also most important. Okay. Let T n be a sequence of estimators such that for all theta belongs to capital theta. Expected value of T n equal to gamma of t. This means unbiasedness. Then variance of T n tends to zero as n tends to infinity. Then we can say that consistent such matter. This is the necessary and sufficient condition. Necessary and sufficient condition for consistency. This is the invariance property. This is the invariance property. Okay, invariance property. This is invariance property and necessary and sufficient condition for unbiased. So now we can see the some examples. First, I am take one example related to the. Related to the um, Poisson distribution, okay. In Poisson distribution, what we all know that what is the PDF e power minus lambda lambda power x divides x factorial, okay. Now I will assume by necessary and sufficient condition of consistency here expected value of x bar, sorry expected value of x bar, what? Expected value of summation x i divides n. Summation is from x one to n. Summation x divides n. Finally, what you got? 
Here n is constant, the summation x means n times lambda. So it is unbiasedness. X bar is unbiasedness. And when you find variance of x bar, what you get? Variance of x bar is what? Variance of divide C n. When you get here lambda upon n. When n tends to infinity, it will automatically go to zero. So here x bar is a consistent estimate for lambda in Poisson distribution like this. This is the example of what this necessary and sufficient condition of unbiased uh, sorry consistency. But you can take any distributions also like x1 initial. If you take x1 initial, what is the PDF of x1 initial? Theta into e power minus theta x. When you can take x bar, expected value of x bar, then what you got n by n upon theta. Sorry, 1 upon theta. Sorry, 1 upon theta. When you find variance of x bar, you get 1 upon theta square divides cm. 1 upon theta square divides. When the limit tends to 0, then it automatically goes to 0. So we say that these all things related to the consistent estimator. Now we can see some textbook examples also. This is the example from FMS book also. Prove that in a sample from a normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma square population the sample now we need to show this popul sample mean is a consistent estimator for mu what is the rule for consistency by using nation sufficient condition we all know that is, is, we are saying that x bar now we need to find the expected value of x bar what is the expected value of x bar in normal distribution is mu we know this when you find uh, x bar equal to summation of x by n, n times summation and n, n cancel, then finally you got mu. When you find variance of x by r, what you got? When you find variance of x by r, sigma square, because it is normal distribution, sigma square divides the n. When n increases, it is automatically goes to zero. So it is the consistent estimator for mu. By, by assumption that the word necessary and sufficient condition of consistency okay here sample variance is not unbiased uh, consistent estimator is asymptotically consistent okay prove that for Cauchy distribution sample mean does not exist we know this but sample median is consistent estimator for the population you can try this also this is also simple now we can see another example this example is related to the invariance property up to now we can see only invariance property if x1 x2 and so on x1 are random observations on Bernoulli distribution what Bernoulli distribution says Bernoulli distribution means binary just like binomial with 1p only one trial is there here probability success and failure are there see this is the our test statistics what is summation of x by n means x bar to 1 minus here also x bar x bar into 1 minus x bar this is the our now we need to check it is the consistent or not for checking this first we can take assumption of x bar expected here summation of x i means how, how we can we are these all are iid observations so summation of x i follows binomial distribution with parameter n and p when you can find expected value of x bar then what you got means n p so it is unbiasedness okay it, first we can check necessary and sufficient condition by after necessary and sufficient condition by taking the invariance property of this is a continuous function so then we can solve first we can say expected value of x bar equal to np then when you find variance of x bar npq divides by n then npq divides by finally you got pq so this is a consistent estimate for x bar we know this now we know that x bar is consistent estimate for mu p now we need to find x bar into 1 minus x bar this is the polynomial equation this is polynomial and it is continuous function by taking the assumption of invariance property we says that it is a consistent estimate for p into into q okay by taking assumption of invariance property okay thank you for watching if you have any queries related to the unbi uh, unbiasedness and consistency up to now you can comment me or contact me
From the next video onwards, I will start with efficiency and sufficiency. The two topics are important. Uh, after sufficiency, we can go into the method of movements, MLE, all things also. Thank you for watching.